All right, so here's our 6.6 uh, .6 Duramax 05, right? There's the engine running. There's our One World filter. Down there. Check the oil. Had it running for about 10 minutes. And see if we can get that to focus. There we go. Same as the color as the oil we put in. Flip that over. Let's take a look at the back side. Look at that. All the soot's gone. Installing a bypass filter on a Duramax is fairly simple, but it takes a little effort. Be sure to change the oil and stock filter first. We chose the One World filter because it's simply the best and it keeps oil so clean it can radically increase the life of the engine. The filter comes with this mounting hardware. We decided to mount it under the hood instead of back on the frame for ease of access and because it looks great. That required adding a custom L bracket to the zinc bracket the One World filter came with because we like the spot right next to the AC compressor in this vacated area. Next we needed to find an oil pressure port. As expected, we found two on the oil filter housing. We decided to use the one closest to the front drive shaft. A 5 16 Allen wrench helps us remove the plug and we used a 3 8 street elbow fitting to help with the tight clearance between the port and the drive shaft. Installed, it looks like this. We then ran the pressure line up through the driver's side of the engine bay, avoiding hot, sharp, and moving surfaces for connection at the import on the One World filter. Here in the filter you will need two 3 8 line adapters and two 3 8 Parker elbow fittings. Here's a close up. Be sure to use Teflon tape or a thread sealer on the filter side of the adapters. Next. We needed a non-pressure return line. We drilled a hole in the oil filler tube and welded in a male fitting to mate with a 3 8 Parker elbow fitting that we pressed onto the hose and rotted the hose behind the AC compressor. Adding zip ties as needed. We tightened everything and fired it up and topped off the oil for some super clean oil. Here's a close-up of the dipstick and as you can see, no more soot. In fact, all the contaminants have been radically reduced for oil that stays clean constantly instead of getting dirtier and dirtier. We want to thank InsaneDiesel.com for the awesome filter and some technical help. And thank you for watching. <laughs>